Namaste, welcome back to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners. In this lecture, I'll just brief about the resources available to learn more about the Super Pro Designer software. Uh, the best source is the intelligent website itself because they have developed uh, many number of videos, tutorial videos, starting it from basic to advanced uh, features of Super Pro Designer. And in this page, you can notice that in the last videos I was telling, the SuperPro software is used by many different industries, uh, belongs to biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, specialty chemicals, food, consumer products, metallurgy, waste valorization or waste treatment and water purification. Those company list is provided by the intelligent. And you can notice that there are huge number of uh, companies are using this and also pharmaceutical industries. So why I'm showing this because uh, that is a motivation. Any student where they want to learn this particular software in future, they want to work in these industries or they want to use this particular software in their research work. Uh, it is very beneficial to learn them. And uh, in the Super Pro Designer, just go to product Super Pro Designer and overview. It will just brief you about its key features here. And what are the unit procedure models available along with the Super Pro Designer software? And also the pricing is given, but it looks like it's huge pricing. But for academic pur purpose, they have the lighter version also. Uh, for a decent price, you can purchase this particular software. And when it comes to competencies, if you just click on these uh, sub menus, you can notice they have clearly explain or the role of modeling batch process, continuous process and unit procedures and many more. And under the training page, so if anybody wants to uh, get the training from Intelligent itself, you can click on this particular page. They are given the details of how the training is conducted and what are the uh, components covered in this particular uh, training it is given. Under the same training page, it is given the videos, you can click on that. And uh, these are the videos available. Uh, you can start to get from basic overview of Super Pro Designer, a simple batch process uh, simulation and simple continuous process simulation, cost analysis, data banks, and some industrial scale examples are also explained here. Uh, monochrome antibody production, brewery, corn refinery, and uh, many more. And they maintain a YouTube channel, uh, Intelligent INC. You can notice here the lot of videos they have uploaded, almost 40 videos are available. You can go through them to understand better. For this literature page, uh, you can notice that there are a lot of uh, resources are available. Uh, the, these chapters, book chapters, or research article written on Super Pro Designer is available here. Most of them are freely available. You can download them and uh, you can read them. So these are the resources available from uh, Intelligent INC. There are other sources are also available where people have developed uh, videos on using Super Pro Designer. One such uh, YouTube channel is maintained by Joe Fenstele. He has also developed five to six videos on Super Pro Designer. He has neatly explained uh, some simple examples to uh, how you can use the features to develop complex models. And also, if you go to Google Scholar and just type Super Pro Designer, and you can understand a uh, lot of uh, people have published paper using this particular tool. Basically, when you work in laboratory scale, many a times we end up uh, publishing the article, but most of us fail to understand whether this research can go to industrial scale or production scale. Uh, no one can immediately start an industry, but using this tool, you can project uh, the feasibility and economics of the process. A lot of research articles are published. Maybe once you understand uh, the features of Super Pro Designer or you understand how to ever use this particular software, maybe you can also implement this tool in your research and it could be a value addition to your research article. And this is the Google Scholar page of Demetri Petrides. Uh, is one of the a main person in this developments of Super Pro Designer software. 
and all the files are freely available and you can uh, download and read them and most of these files are also available along with uh, example problems shipped with super pro designer and one more website i found is like yo explains here also one or two videos are available on modeling the batch kinetics or batch fermentation process and there is one more website called uh, learn chemi uh, maintained by university of colorado boulder here also four to five examples have been uh, given and uh, just going through them definitely helps you helps any beginner to understand the software better and there are uh, chapters in some of the books uh, for example in this chemical engineering in pharmaceutical industry chapter 47 explain the overview of the super pro designer capabilities in pharmaceutical industry and this particular book development of sustainable bioprocess which is published in 2006 maybe 15 years back it is published but definitely an useful resource for any uh, beginner and there is one more uh, book a chapter that is published in pharmaceutical biotechnology that is techno economical evaluation of biotechnological processes and pharma pharma eco economic analysis you can download and you can read that and one more book uh, published in the name computer methods in chemical engineering and basically this book has compared different software like aspen plus super pro unisim and many different software it has compared so definitely this is also a good resource for beginners and there is one more chapter in essentials in fermentation technology naming bioprocess simulation and economics and uh, another chapter in the book biopharmaceutical processing it is downstream process design scale up principles and process modeling and uh, in the textbook bio separation science and engineering uh, there is a chapter on bioprocess design and economics one can read to understand better and also in the book batch processing modeling and design also there is a chapter available you can notice here batch scheduling and planning batch process simulation and you can just go through it and there is one more textbook on chemical engineering process simulation and it is a very nice uh, book where they have used different tools that means they have shown how to use different tools for process simulation you can notice like unisim symmetry super pro designer aspen one engineering under this super pro designer you can notice there are uh, three chapters are available uh, one is uh, exp one explains the batch simulation batch process simulation and another one modeling of citric acid production using super pro designer and another example on wastewater treatment so one can go through these uh, chapters also to understand better so apart from this as i told in earlier lectures super pro also ships a lot of example problems so i'll show you how to access those particular files if you just go to uh, my pcr this document under windows c you can go to users and uh, the public folder you can notice public documents intelligent super pro designer so the version whichever the version you install and three subfolders are there batch sheet databases process library so we'll look into batch sheet and database later now under process library you can notice that examples and under the examples folder there are a lot of subfolders are there means they have categorized examples into uh, different groups for example under biofuels you can notice there is an example problem on algal oil biodiesel production ethanol production isobutanol wood pyrolysis and under biomaterials you can notice uh, beta galactose uh, galactosidase example and uh, bioaromatics biopolymers and many more so they have nicely categorized and i'll just open one folder biomaterials and i'll just open citric acid and every example is uh, they uh, is coming with a super pro file that is spf file and there is one readme file so once you open this readme file they have given the complete details of that particular uh, process uh, starting it from introduction and how the process description step by step description is given for any beginner they can easily uh, understand uh, this particular uh, process file and they try to evaluate the software and the scheduling details are also given and the results obtained from this uh, tool is also briefly described for better understanding and when you open this particular file citric acid production file you can notice 
the complete file is available even though it is trial version you can open all the example files and you can understand how each uh, uh, two unit operation is uh, set up and you can notice here all the features are opening you can easily access them view them how they are set up and also you can view the reports results charts for example operation gantt charts this is an important chart in batch process simulation you can notice so all the features are available in the trial version also you can go through these examples but we in the in this tutorial series i have kind of dissected this uh, um, bigger uh, uh, files into smaller ones and we'll try to simulate small small unit procedures at the end maybe we can simulate the bigger process you can use it for your research purpose or for your learning purpose yeah. so and at the end of this tutorial in this in this tutorial series i am just taking for, for beginners it might be difficult to understand this complex process but in this tutorial series I'm, uh, I'm uh, taking small, small unit operations, which are part of these process simulation files, and we'll simulate those small unit operations, and uh, we'll keep increasing the complexity by adding two, three, four unit operations. And finally, we can um, prepare a bigger process file, and we can simulate it. I hope these resources are useful for any beginners to start learning this Purple Pro Designer uh, uh, tool. Thank you for watching the video.